guys, I'm Jaden Dupree, and today I'm going to run through a few drills with you guys. Uh, so, this starting one right here is a little grid drill. Uh, nothing too special about it. Every ball is at a diamond intersection, so, and also frozen, so 1, 0, I guess. 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1 in the pocket, 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to here. It's about half a table. I uh, don't have enough balls to go full table. Uh, so you can make a ball in any pocket in any order. Just the cue ball cannot touch another ball. So I tend to get most of the middle traffic out of the way first. I don't really worry about these too, too much until the end. I'm going to have to play one now. This drill, I never really like to do the same pattern twice, just because I want to switch things up a bit, put myself in new situations. See, now all this area is cleared up for me to play position on these balls down here once I need to. which can be now because I want to get that three ball out of the way. Might save the one ball for last just because it's fairly easy position to get on it especially from here. Oh, <laughs> a little riskier than I would have liked. But in the end, a good little run out drill. Okay, so this drill is harder than the last one. Just in my opinion, it's a little rail cut shot drill. And these rail cut shots can be pretty tricky. I need that to stop so it doesn't hit that six. All right, we're good. Here's the shot that determines it all. Oh, I played it well. I almost ended up with a scratch. But 
But there's that little drill. Uh, more difficult than it appears. Uh, the reason I'm doing a lot of these half table drills is because the next uh, tournament I'm playing in is a seven foot bar box tournament. Uh, so that requires a lot less cue ball movement since the table is only about this long to my cue. So I'm practicing not going full table, just those kind of roll in shots, uh, which can be harder position than you might think. Uh, so let's just move on to this next drill. All right, so this drill is definitely on the easy side, so you do not need to attack me in the comment section. Uh, but it's a perfect drill for working on your little draw shots. Uh, for your smaller table position play, which is the exact table I'm about to play on in a tournament, in a money tournament. So I need to practice those. No matter how good I am at them already, that all doesn't matter. You just put yourself back on square one when you start practicing. So if I haven't really explained the drill here, you just go back and forth on those lines. Key ball can't touch another ball other than the one you're trying to make. Doesn't matter which ball in the line you shoot, but it looks just like that. Uh, pretty simple. Just go back and forth, working on the smaller table position shots. Okay, so this is a very common drill to get that feel for those bank shots. Uh, usually the ones that you are not as good at. I'm not as good at these corners as I am at the sides, just for some reason they don't really click with me as well. Especially shots like this. So what you do is you just take ball in hand on each shot and you try to make five in a row. And if you miss one, it's more of an interactive drill. If you miss one, that one you miss, you have to make that same shot three times in a row. So that's how the drill works right there. You shoot five in a row, you miss one, you take that one, you zone in on that one bank shot until you're comfortable with it. Uh, so either three times in a row if you want to get uh, really hard on yourself five times in a row. So I'm all about starting with a big range of shots and then breaking them down into the shots you're not as good at. So throughout that, those, all those drills that I just showed you, whichever shot seems to be bothering you the most, uh, that one you really need to zone in on. Forget the drill you're working on right there, work on that one shot, then go back to the drill. All right, so that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please click the like button down below. If you want to be notified when I upload a new video, you can click the subscribe button, then the bell icon right next to it. That'll just send you an email and a notification saying that I've uploaded a new video. So we are coming close to reaching 100 thousand subscribers I need your guys' help let's see if we can share this video across Facebook text it to your friends tell it your whole APA league to subscribe let's see if we can hit a hundred thousand subscribers by April April is my goal and you guys are the only ones that can make it happen and a big thanks to everybody who uh, is already subscribed Let's see if we can get to 100,000. That has always been my dream to get that uh, play button award from YouTube. And we are so close. We're about uh, 18,000, 17,000 people away. Uh, so let's see if we can get there. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video.